Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm coming on um, because I'm doing a couple of uh, pictures to go on displays for Christmas. Um, now I downloaded a kit from Etsy, which is absolutely beautiful. It's all my theme for Christmas this year is blue and gold. So I found this on Etsy and there's I think it was like 165 pictures like this of Christmas and I've already made one picture this one here which is so cute because I bought myself um, a little gnome as well to sit with this display and he is gorgeous so I thought that would be really ideal to go on the side with my gnome and my little snowmen and and they're all sort of like a, a cream and blue colour so I thought that would be really cute and I just die cut the uh, leaves in the corner made a bow to go on the top there so very plain and simple but very effective and they look beautiful on display with other bits and pieces so I wanted to show you how I done this and how I made the frame for the picture. So all I've done is printed out the picture that I want um, and I printed out a stripy piece of blue and cream. It has got like a gold tint in it. Um, obviously not gold gold because your printer doesn't print out gold obviously but um, yeah, you can you can see it's got that sort of effect, grungy paper. Um, if you're interested in these, I will find them and I will leave the links to them down in the um, box for you. So yeah, I was just going to um, show you how I've made the frame for this. So I kind of use my squares on my mat here, um, and I just kind of line that up on there like so now obviously with your frame you're going to want it to come over the edge of your picture slightly so again using my squares on here i know that that comes over there slightly like so and i've just lined it up with one of the lines on my mat so i know that it's straight so that comes over there a little bit and then you need to find out these these pieces by the way this is only like a, a millimeter thick gray board and i've just cut them into inch long strips and then you're going to want to line one up on the top again just slightly overlapping your picture you're going to want to line one up across the top there let's turn that around i've already already started this so I kind of know where that's going to go but if that goes over the top slightly I'm going to use that line there on the mat to make sure it's straight nope it's got to go that way like so so then taking your other piece that you've got here again you're going to want to overlap your picture slightly like so and again using the lines on my mat as closest to it i'm just going to make sure that's straight across there and then grab a pencil holding this down firmly grab a pencil and all you're going to want to do is mark a line across there like so okay and then you can take this away again and then you've got your line on there now I'm just going to cut this would help if I had my goggles on I'm just going to cut that across there like that and then I'm going to cut another one exactly the same by lining that up on there and then I'm just going to cut that end piece off there so you've got your top and your bottom measured for your picture frame okay so then what i like to do is to put this one back in place where it should go 
which is going to be there okay and then now I'm going to move this piece down to line up with the top of that just make sure that's straight across there okay and it's straight on your line here then taking your other bottom piece again make sure you overlap your picture slightly I'll lay that on there and using the line on me mat I can see where that needs to go okay so just holding that there I'm going to put a line on here either side like so okay just mark that on there either side and then I'm going to cut that off across there so I know that that fits perfectly on that side and then I'm just going to take the other piece line it up with that one make sure it's all straight and then just cut that piece off and then you have your two sides for your frames as well okay i hope that's kind of easy enough for you to get your head around um right so then what we want to do is move your picture out of the way and get your piece of stripy paper or patterned paper whatever you want to use um now what i like to do first is because some of the way the printer prints out sometimes they're not quite straight across the bottom so because i want my lines straight um i'm going to cut it across the line i'm not going to use this to make sure it's straight i want the lines to be straight so if it's slightly printed that way then i know that the frame needs to go around that way slightly so they're straight once you've made it i hope that makes sense so I'm going to line that up on there. See, that's there, but then that needs to come back that way. So I know that that's not printed it straight. And I'm going to cut it so it's square across that bottom blue line there. And move that out of the way. So... What I'm going to do is we need to stick these on, but you need to leave a border around the edges, okay? But obviously you need to make sure it's in place where you've got enough paper both sides for your frame. So you've got a little bit that you can fold over each edge, okay? Does that make sense? So I know this is going to need to go up a bit. And I know there's not a lot of paper on the A4 sheets, but it's just enough. So that's good. Okay, so that's going to need to go like that. And you're going to need to stick it down. Okay. So, grabbing your glue. You could use tape on this if you like to, but if you lay it down and it doesn't go straight first time, then you're going to be in trouble because then it's permanently stuck if you use tape. That's why I'm using glue because then at least you've got a little bit of wiggle room if you need to shuffle it about a bit. So that is going to go on there like so and I'm going to stick the top and the bottom make sure that's level with the top piece of your card there stick that I'm not going to stick that down permanently just yet I want to get these in place and make sure it's all straight and level like 
line that up with the bottom one there and then you have to be quite quick when you're doing this because otherwise it is going to dry in place and it might not be perfectly straight so lined up with the top and see that's not perfectly straight so I need to move that bit down a bit so that's straight now with that bottom piece on there and that's straight that side and that's straight across the top so now we can give these a good push down because we know it's all in place Okay, like so. Uh, let's put the lid back on that for a second. Now, all we're going to do is you need to cut these corners in like you was would do with um, an album. Or so, don't go straight across because you're going to end up with a grey piece sticking out the edge. So just leave a tiny little gap and just cut that off, like so. Okay, do that on all four corners. I'm going to cut a little piece off of this bit at the top here because that's really thick across there. We don't need that much paper on there. Uh, now, out again. Now, out again. Okay. So you have that, okay, and get rid of these pieces, please excuse the state of my mat, it needs a good scrubbing. So um, what I'm going to do is try and find my bone folder, oh, here we go, and all I'm going to do is lift the edges of these. And I'm going to push them against the card using your bone folder so you've got a nice straight square edge on there like that okay do that on all four sides Okay, like that, and then what I'm going to do is stick the sides down, try and get a bead of glue up against the chipboard because that will help it stick on the edge of that. And then we're just going to pull it over. So, and make sure it's stuck down. Don't forget to stick them corners down properly there. Okay, and just run your bone folder against that edge there. So make sure that's nice and square. And don't forget to tuck your edges in here and here. Just run your bone folder around the edge of the card just to make sure the paper is tucked in on the corners. Okay, like so. Again, make sure you run a little strip of glue down the edge of the card, chipboard, whatever you're using to make it. I'm only using a millimetre thick because um, that's all I have at the moment. Plus, it doesn't need to be really, really thick for this. Uh, 
Christmas time is the best season for me. Well, autumn and, you know, Christmas. Best time of year for me. So uh, I have a tendency to go a bit mad at Christmas and make decorations and, you know, little displays and things. They all look nice and pretty. But they are all stored properly in boxes. And they go away in my loft each year. I said I need to get the one out of the garage because uh, I have my Christmas tree in there and also about five boxes full of decorations. So I need to sort that out this year because it's kind of overtaking the garage where I like to do a different theme each year last year was traditional like red green gold um, and then this year I decided I wanted to go blue and gold so like a, a navy blue and gold obviously you're not going to get everything in navy it's really hard to find navy blue stuff to actually create things with for Christmas you know like ribbons and bits and pieces like that I want to make my own ball balls like I did for the craft fair a little while back um, finding it really really hard to find like a, a navy blue um, confetti stuff to go in the actual ball balls itself uh, you can find a light blue a royal blue but not a navy blue which is crazy so okay so then you've got that and your edges are all nice and square and flush okay then you're going to need your craft knife so I've just got this little one here and make sure it's tight before you take your fingers off with it and then starting on the inside corner I'm just going to mark cut a line going towards the center I'll show you in a second okay it's just done four lines like that going from the corners towards the middle okay and then all I'm going to do is leave um, enough room here so you can fold that over onto your card as well okay and then I'm just going to cut that off across there it doesn't have to be straight doesn't have to be perfect just make sure you've got enough paper to fold over your picture frame like so okay and then just remove the center piece like that put your knife away Right, then all I'm going to do is get the paper and just bend it up a little bit so it's more pliable and easier for you to do. Just like so. And then again, using my bone folder, okay, I'm just going underneath that paper and against the card. So you're going to do exactly the same as what you've done on the edges. Just lift that paper up so it's nice and square on there. Okay, and you want to do that on all four sides. So really, really sort of like quick and easy project to do this. And they look absolutely beautiful when you've got them on display with other bits and pieces of the same colour. They are stunning. So I'm just going to... Put the glue on there again don't forget to put a tiny little strip there against the card okay 
okay and then again I'm just going to push that over exactly the same as what you've done to the outside edge only you're doing it on the inside edge this time okay make sure that's nice and flush against there and then use the edge of your bone folder again and just run across the edge of your chipboard there to make sure that's stuck down on there okay so it's like that and you're just going to basically go around and do all four edges exactly the same as I said very quick and easy the longest part of this is making the frame but once you know how once you've done your first one you know how easy it is to do again just make sure that's pushed over all the way give it a nice push down make sure it's stuck down nicely again using your bone folder just push against sorry I can't do it that way I have to turn it around that way make sure you push against that edge and that's stuck on now and it's nice and square and flush right along the card like so fold it over give it a good push over make sure it's flush against the card on the edge give it a good push down make sure that glue is stuck like so again on the inside edge just give that a push last bit push it over all the way and give it a nice push down like so and again run your bone folder right up tight against that edge and give that a good push on there make sure that glue stuck and it's all nice and square so you'll have that okay and that's your frame for your picture okay so then all you need to do is take your picture if you want to cover this um make your pictures last a bit longer maybe you can um put a bit of cellophane on there or something um you know just like a, um, a see-through plastic sheet or something on there okay to put to cover your picture I'm not going to bother because I'm probably going to keep changing these all the time um, and I quite like the the texture how it looks without a sort of plastic sheet across it so all I'm going to do with this is I know it fits that perfectly because we've done it perfectly so I'm just going to use my glue and I'm going to just about an eighth of an inch around the inside edge of my picture frame go all the way around just like so and then get your picture I'll line that up on there so I know it's square and then I'm going to take my frame decide what way round I want it I think I'll have the blue bit at the bottom and then you basically just going to line it up so it's nice and square and 
and then just give it a good push down all around the edges where you put that glue okay so now it's stuck to the back and it's nice and straight and flush on there okay and then what else I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over just to make it a little bit more sturdier and get in a piece of card or whatever and I'm going to cut this to size so I have it about there let's cut that little bit off there If you want to make a stand for the back of your picture that's entirely up to you you can do that what you would need to do is get a nice sturdy bit of card bend it and stick it to the back and then i'm just going to stick this on the back here basically just to make it a little bit more solid You want to put a piece of ribbon on the top um, I'll show you one that I've done in a minute once we've done this like that and then I'm just gonna square that up on the back there like so and then just push that into place and stick that down and make sure the edges are stuck down properly because you've got your other picture underneath so it might not want to stick down properly around the edges there you go so it's it's nice and plain on the back no mess on the back you have your picture so it's up to you guys how you want to decorate it I've got a few bits here that I've done sorry let me have a quick sip of my tea I cut out a die cut of some leaves you can see that okay so I've got a couple of them the same as the other one and then I cut out two two little individual ones there so all I'm going to do is I'm going to ink these up all around the edges of the leaves just to make them look a little bit more effective give them the more sort of shabby vintagey look to go with the picture okay like so don't know if you can actually see that or not but, um, just kind of browns off the edges a little bit This one I'm using here is Memento Desert Sand. I use this for a lot of things. I think it looks really nice with the uh, like the vintage papers and it's normally either this or black that I'm using, so they're definitely my go-to when I'm crafting. I do have other colours obviously but um, they don't very often come out of the drawer to get used if I'm honest so we've done them and then all I've done was made myself a little bow using the um, envelope punch board so I just made myself a little bow using them I'm sure all you guys know how to do them by now um, and then I'm going to have these on the corner here probably the same as the other one that I've done over there 
so I'm just going to glue these into place on here now don't stick all of it down I only glue the very end there and I'll go and put that one now and then let's put the other one that side like that and then these two little ones I'm going to put up the top here just to finish off that corner just so it's got something at the top there pick it up just give it a bit of shape so just stick them in the corner like so okay and then I'm going to take my bow just put a bit of glue in the middle make sure there's plenty on there so it sticks and then I'm going to stick that across the corner on top of them just give that a second Oh, I didn't get me uh, bead out to go in the middle. Uh, I can do that after. Okay, and then while you're still holding it, just give your your bow a little push on either side because where you keep fiddling with it and sticking it and stuff, it goes a bit flat. So just give them a little squeeze on either side to sort of pout them up again. Okay, so we've got that, and then I'm just going to put a little diamante in the middle of there okay so it'll be the same as that one okay there you got the two beautiful pictures and they're both going to go on display in my living room with my ornaments that i have for christmas so that's them ones done guys bear with me a second let me grab this one i also printed out the pictures smaller and then I made two little frames and created a little hanging Christmas picture. Okay, so you do exactly the same. Okay, and then all I've done is used a bit of a burlap ribbon in the middle there, made sure it was cut straight and marked it all and stuff so you know that these are both hanging at like straight you know and it's not wonky and off to one side and then i just put a little piece on the top there so you can hang it and then tie the little bow and stuck that one on the top there okay you can decorate these up the same if you wish to you can um you know put some leaves and things in the corners or you can put a big one on the top here so it all sort of falls down like with the leaves and you know make them look really really pretty and effective but great idea for Christmas if you want like little hanging things you know just to go around the room and you know really really cute so um, yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys um, hope you like them I think they're fantastic and as I said if you want to do this I'll leave the link down below where I got the pictures from and where I got the stripey paper from as well they're both on Etsy so um, yeah that's it for now guys I hope you enjoyed that um, please 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 guys I'm begging you now please leave a like okay um, you don't have to leave a message or anything like that but just just hit that like bell please if you like what you're seeing um, really really appreciate it love you guys loads take care Mwah. love to you all and I'll see you again soon bye for now